aja aja aja. Halo Iwan, halo Iwan. If I were to tell you that long before Bengaluru became India's IT city, it was home to one of the country's most ambitious low altitude apple experiments far south of the famous orchards of Kulu, Shimla or Kashmir. You'd probably think it was a joke, right? Apple is two. KG in Nurupal. KG in Nurupal. Thank you. Okay. Over a century ago, the whole city of Bangalore was teeming with apple trees. It was in 1887 when John Cameron, the then superintendent of Lal Bagh, planted 17 varieties of apple right here. One of them, Rome Beauty, thrived. Imagine apples going under the open sky in the very same place today where we grow mangoes and coconuts. And yet, by 1920, it was all gone. The Bangalore's weather was not suitable for growing apples. The trees withered, and the dream died. Meanwhile, apples had quietly taken root decades earlier in Kulu Valley, where Captain R. C. Lee planted India's first documented orchard at Bandrol in the 1870s. From there, the story spread across Himachal Pradesh, transformed landscapes, and for decades became India's mountain pride. But today, even that story is under stress. Traditional varieties like Royal Delicious and Golden Delicious are declining. Replaced on store shelves by imported fancy apples from New Zealand, the US and even Iran. So what's really happening to India's apples? And why have the apples from Himachal Pradesh become so costly? And is it time for the famous fruit to finally visit a doctor? To find out more, I decided to tap on someone who has spent years studying how climate change reshapes our crops and cities. Professor Harni Nagendra, Director of School of Climate Change and Sustainability at Azim Premji University. So Harni, uh, what is happening to the apples in India, especially the ones from Himachal Pradesh? Apple is a particularly sensitive climate crop because it requires about a thousand chillas. That means it needs a thousand hours of cold you know, especially this royal delicious, golden delicious, those varieties. And that's been a challenge because one of the things we have seen, you know, you've seen our report, right? This uh, navigating India's climate futures. And especially if you look at the India's Himalayan region, what we've done is try to understand what are the changes going on in the near future? That is 2020 to 2040, what is going on in uh, the Himalayas for climate change and across India. But if you look at the Himalayas, what you see is that winter temperatures are warming much faster than the summer temperatures. We all talk about global warming, we think it's kind of spread out evenly around the year. But what we're really seeing is that that warming in the winter is creating problem for some kinds of crops like apple. So for instance, uh, Kulu, Manali are the places that we used to think of as apple crops. They're becoming too hot now to be suitable for apple. And it's moving upwards into areas like Lahore and Spiti and which we and uh, which uh, you know which we would never have thought we would have thought of kulu and malali as the places for capital so a lot of changes in what's going on in the region generally wonderful and is it only the rising temperature that is impacting these uh, the apple cultivation or are there more factors at play when it comes to climate change there are a lot of factors so for instance there is the change in pollinators across the world partly because of climate change and partly because of the amount of pesticide that we're spraying on our crops we are seeing a global collapse in pollinators and apple is a pollinated crop so when you are bees insects birds generally overall with crops uh, uh, collapsing that is going to have an impact on the apple uh, you know uh, the survival of apples and that is one thing that we are seeing but in addition we are also seeing other interrelated effects rainfall is changing and because of the unpredicted rainfall you have too much of rainfall coming in one short season and parts of the Himalayas are becoming extremely rainy, much more, you know, the monsoon is coming in intense bursts. And then you have flash floods because apples are anyway cultivated in these kind of terraced uh, foothills and areas. And if it's moving up to steep slopes, again, they're going to be even more vulnerable. So a lot of changes are coming together. The rainfall pattern, the humidity, the changes in nighttime temperatures, the collapse of biodiversity, and the fact that we are spraying it, such a, you know, such a pesticide intensive crop. 
all of these are really le leading to a lot of interrelated changes. Is there some sort of research being done to understand the impact of you know climate change on say orchard owners and cultivars and nature? That's a really important question. I think because while we say that farmers are going to suffer the impacts, farmers are also very climate smart and resilient and are adapting in a number of ways that we don't really understand yet. So I think it'd be very useful if you go on ground. Ankur Jamwal, who is of course one of our colleagues, has been working on the climate resilience of apple crops and what farmers are doing. So it'd be very useful if you and Ankur go on the ground and talk to the farmers and learn from them about what they've been doing and to get Ankur's own work in this area and see what you can put together. I think it'll be a very interesting story to cover. Apples have grown wild in the Himalayas for centuries, but it was here at Thanedar, just outskirts of Portgar, where the true apple revolution started. It was in 1916 when a Quaker missionary named Samuel Stokes, who subsequently uh, you know, changed his name to Satyanand Stokes, uh, bought a variety of apples from Missouri in USA uh, in 1916, the Red Delicious, and he planted it in the orchards here at Thanedar. Subsequently, seeing the success of the crop, the farmers living around in Thanedar, Kodgar, everywhere, they also adapted apple orchards. And slowly and steadily, the apple re revolution spread all across Himachal Pradesh. Now, Himachal Pradesh is one of the largest producers of apples in India. And that very revolution started here and with Satyanand Stokes. To find out how orchards spread after the apples arrived and also understand the challenges faced by apple farmers today, we decided to speak to Harichand Roach in Thanedhar who has been farming for decades and Sandeep Chauhan in Kodgar on how climate change is impacting the harvest. And finally, we also spoke to Ankur Jamwal, faculty at Azim Premji University on what are the reasons for this shift. उसके बाद लोगों ने बगीचे लगाए तो 58 में यह हुआ कि इंपोर्टेड सेब बंद हो गया जो मेरे जमाने में वहां यहां पर कलकत्ता दिल्ली या बॉम्बे में और मद्रास में ये दो वैरायटी मैंने देखी है रेड कमर्शियल और डेमोक्रेट वो सेब आते थे वो सेब यहां काफी दिखता था तो जब ये 58 में इंपोर्ट बंद हुआ तो सारी मार्केट सारे लोगों का फोकस हमारी तरफ हुआ तो यहां पर कलकत्ता मुंबई दिल्ली से मार्केट से लोग आने लगे और यहां सेब लोग कश्मीर और हम से बढ़ाने लगे कश्मीर में कुछ वैरायटी लोकल थी उन, उनकी वैरायटी अपनी थी वो हजरत वाली महाराजी अमरी इस किस्म की वैरायटी थी और कश्मीर में तो सेब कहते हैं जहांगीर के जमाने से था तो वो फिर कश्मीर ने भी यही डिलीशियस प्रोपगेट किया कश्मीर में भी यही डिलीशियस के पीछे लगे और इससे हमारी इकॉनमी नब्बे तक बहुत अच्छी रहे एप्पल की दुनिया में साढ़े सात हजार वैरायटी है लेकिन नौ वैरायटी टेबल में खाई जाती है तो जो रेड एप्पल है और ग्रीन एप्पल और आपका येलो एप्पल येलो एप्पल तो जो सेब खाया जाता है वो इसलिए नहीं उसकी फूड वैल्यू क्या है उसकी मेडिसिन प्रॉपर्टी क्या है न्यूट्रिशन वैल्यू क्या है तो आज दुनिया में जो सबसे बड़ा जो सेब खाया जाता है वो है फ्यूजी फ्यूजी जो है वो 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 ग्रीन है और ये पेड़ मेरे पास फ्यूजी का है फ्यूजी का और ही मैंने इम्पोर्ट किया था यूएसए से ये प्लांट मटेरियल तो ग्रीन एप्पल में जैसे आपका ग्रीन स्मिथ है तो ग्रीन स्मिथ बिल्कुल ग्रीन है उसकी बहुत बड़ी मार्केट है वो लेस शुगर है अब एप्पल की ऐसी वैरायटी हैं कि मतलब किसी में शुगर ज़्यादा है किसी में कम है अब जो वैरायटी आ गई है क्योंकि रिसर्च जो है ना ये अठारह सौ सत्तर से दुनिया की बहुत आगे चली गई तो अब रिसर्च में ऐसी ऐसी चीज़ें आ गई कि वो जो पिछली चीज़ से आगे जा रही हैं मैंने जैसे आपको कार की एग्जांपल दी थी तो फ्री एट एम्बेसडर आज कोई नहीं चलाता तो ये लाल सेब दुनिया में अब कोई नहीं खा रहा ये इंडियन खा रहे हैं वॉट यू कैन सी एज इफ यू टेस्ट लोकल क्विजीन हीपल 
people you see people make uh, dishes from apple mithdi which is kind of a sweet dish is uh, one of the very common things you'll see in uh, feasts uh, being served uh, when the apple is in glut when you have lot of apple i mean the good quality apples is probably sold whatever cannot be sold is uh, peeled and cut into pieces and dried and uh, people in himalayan areas are also very conscious about utilization of resources so what they usually do is they sit in one room so that it can be heated up efficiently and when everybody is together it's a family kind of a thing you know they're all chit chatting and you serve this uh, dried apple and this this is what you know uh, this is how apple has you know invaded and pervaded the social culture of himachal pradesh if you talk to people now you'll you'll hear that you'll hear it from them that the yield of the apple or the productivity has gone down it's very common to hear ki saab ab utna save nahi hota hai and uh, there is actually a data to support it kehne ka ye matlab hai ki hum log seb ke bagiche ko khada rakhne ke liye iski quality maintain karne ke liye humko kharche bahut karne padte hain is pe फंगस के लिए खर्चे कम करने पड़ते हैं आपके खादे खादों के लिए खर्चे कर, करने पड़ते हैं जो हम इस पर खादे डालते हैं एम ओ पी माइक्रोन्यूट्रियट्स बहुत सारी चीज़ें जो हम करते हैं अप्लाई करने अपने सॉइल मैनेजमेंट के लिए तो मतलब अगर हम ओवरऑल देखा जाए तो ये प्रॉफिटेबल बिजनेस नहीं रह गया अब पुराने ज़माने में प्रॉफिटेबल था तब लोगों के अपने गाय थे अपने गोबर था वो ज़्यादा स्प्रे नहीं होती थी मतलब उसमें उस वक्त बीमारियाँ भी ज़्यादा नहीं थी had you come here say about 20 25 years back this entire place would have been an apple orchard right but now you'll see you won't see as many apple trees around what we say over here is the apple belt has moved up and apple because of the climate change is also attracting a lot of pests and insecticides uh, sorry insects so which is which and to counter that of course uh people have to spray a lot of insecticides and pesticides and another thing with apple is that apple requires for it to be sold at a good value it needs to have that specific color uh which develops only at a certain temperature but if it doesn't then you can spray it with some chemicals chemicals to develop colors which is also deteriorating the health of the soil so climate change exacerbated by this poor soil health jalvayu parivartan ki wajah se yahan barf padni kam ho gayi hai जिस वजह से जो रिक्वायर्ड चिलिंग आवर्स थे वही पूरे नहीं हो रहे हैं और जिस वजह से हमारे जो है फ्लावरिंग का टाइम टाइम अनिवन है पहले जिस तरह से कि कुछ दिनों के अंदर अंदर ही आता था अप्रैल के आसपास जो फ्लावरिंग होती थी अब कई बार अर्ली हो जाती कई बार लेट हो जाती है तो उस वजह से ओवरऑल जो है इसकी एप्पल की यील्ड पर भी बहुत ज़्यादा असर पड़ रहा है उसकी फूड की क्वालिटी पर भी बहुत ज़्यादा असर पड़ रहा है और साथ में अगर हम नए भी चल रहे वो भी तैयार नहीं हो रहे हैं इंटरेस्टिंगली the higher or the so called cold deserts lahol and spiti which where you know you could have never imagined a tree growing up forget up apple any other tree growing up right is not producing a lot of apples right so if you go there you'll have rich densely populated uh, beautiful apple trees laden with you know apples which used to be a very common sight in kullu unfortunately it's not so shashwat i would suggest that uh, if you would like to see how apple trees used to look like in in uh, in, in kullu few years back say 20 25 years back you should go to lahol spiti uh, where you'll see beautiful apple orchards you know laden with beautiful fruits uh, trees weighed down by apples uh, probably it's a bit too early because you know apples have just still started to grow you won't see the ripe apples but still it's a sight to behold uh so i would suggest you go there and see for yourself the place that used to be called as a cold desert has now completely transformed into an apple apple group producing area final leg of our journey we catch up with aditya sashni a farmer in lahol who talks about how this cold desert has transformed into an apple growing landscape 
तो यहाँ पर जैसे गर्मी वगैरह का गर्मी और स्नोफॉल पैटर्न्स में क्या शिफ्ट हुआ है वो बता सकते हैं आ, वही बता रहा था जैसे मैं आपको ना जी पहले जो बर्फ दिसंबर एंड जैन में पड़ती थी अब वो शिफ्ट होकर मार्च या अप्रैल में पड़ रही है हाँ। और वो ऐसा होता है कि जो फार्मर्स है जो एग्रीकल्चर के साथ जुड़े हुए हैं तो उन्हें मेन जो बर्फ़ पड़ती है वो दिसंबर की या जनवरी की जो बर्फ़ पड़ती है वो प्रॉपर होता है क्योंकि उस टाइम टिकता है गर्मी नहीं होती है तो प्रॉपर वो खेतों को अच्छा अच्छे से वो इरिगेट करती है और प्रॉपर वो देती है जी जो अब मार्च में जो बर्फ़ पड़ी वो बिल्कुल हल्की सी बर्फ़ रहती है वो वैसी वैसी पिघल जाती है और वो ज़्यादा बेनिफिट नहीं देती खेतों के लिए जी जी और इंटेंसिटी में भी फ़र्क आया क्या स्नोफॉल की इंटेंसिटी जैसे पहले बहुत बहुत जी जो पहले मैं बताता हूँ आपको कम से कम 10 की 12 फुट पड़ती थी बर्फ एक टाइम वो जो अपने दादा वगैरह के पिताजी के जो हमारे उस टाइम बताते थे अब उनसे मतलब मैं बोलता हूँ आपको ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा तीन या चार पड़ती तीन या चार वो भी आ, ऐसा कन्फर्म नहीं कि पड़ेगी पड़ेगी बहुत बहुत फ़र्क पड़ चुका है तो जैसे हम कुल्लू में थे ना तो किसी ने हमें बोला कि उन्होंने हमसे कहा कि आप एक काम कीजिए लाहौल जाइए जी और लाहौल का जो मौसम है ना जी जी वो जी उस तरीके का जो कुल्लू का समझे तीस तीस पैंतीस साल पहले का जो मौसम कुल्लू में था जी जी वैसा लाहौल का है तो लाहौल में आपको पुराने कुल्लू का आएगा और वहाँ पर अब जैसे सेब आ रहे हैं धीरे धीरे वहाँ पर भी बढ़ते जाएंगे जी तो आपका इसके बारे में क्या जी बिल्कुल ग्लोबल वार्मिंग और ये एज अ मैं पॉजिटिव भी बोल सकता हूँ ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हम एक एक तरह से हम दूसरे उसमें रहते कि भाई चलो कल दिन अब सेब तो बड़े होने पेड़ बड़े होने तो नीचे की खेती तो ऑब्वियस ही बात है बंद हो जाएगी तो हम तो यही चाहते हैं कि अगर सेब अच्छे से रहा तो तो हमारे लिए बहुत ही बेटर फ्यूचर है क्योंकि ऐसा जैसे जैसे ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हो रही है गर्मी बढ़ रही है या जो भी देखो आप ग्लेशियर वगैरह सब सूख रहे हैं या तो आने वाले टाइम के लिए हम तो चाहते हैं जी अगर सेब आए तो बहुत अच्छा रहेगा हमें यहाँ पर सेब जी जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल द फ्रूट दैट वंस प्रोमिस प्रोस्पेरिटी नाउ विस्पर्स अ वार्निंग दैट इवन द इटर्नल लैंडस्केप्स आर इन मोशन शेप्ड नॉट ओनली बाई ह्यूमन हैंड but forces far greater here at lahol at the crossroads of climate and cultivation apple is not merely a fruit but a living marker of change from the fruit vendors in bengaluru to the high orchards in lahol this journey started with a very simple question why are the apples so costly and where have the red ones gone this journey unraveled a much deeper story guided by the research being done at the school of climate change and sustainability at azim premji university and through the conversations with farmers who have seen the upward climb of apple with each warming year from kodgar to kullu to shifting fields in manali and now here at lahol we have not only traced the history of apple cultivation in india but also that of a relentless march of climate change in the himalayas the apple journey mirrors that of these mountains resilient yet fragile as winters get warmer and snow lines retreat farmer chase cold and plant orchards in places where only snow and silence lived